Today on Contractor Fight TV, we're going to talk about hope. In fact, many people are hoping things are going to work out. They're wanting things to be better, and today I'm going to dig in to exactly why this is a lousy strategy if you want to be successful. Hope is not a strategy. Let's do this. Hey, before we get into this today, I want to remind you, hit the subscribe button so that you can be one of the cool people. All right, there you go, peer pressure. Ah, anyway, listen, literally before, literally, I have a friend who every time he, we say the word literally, he says it like that. He goes, literally, he like, I don't know, I see, I can't even say it. Whatever, Tom, get to the point. Okay, so Eric, behind the camera, and I were talking about my days as a high school football coach and an interaction I had with a parent who said, our kids aren't having fun playing for you. And I said, well, you know what? If you would like to have fun, last I heard winning is fun, you need to put in the work so that you can win. I said, because when we have a running clock on us in the second quarter and it's 52 to nothing and you're a parent, how fun is that for you up in the stands? I said, so basically your kids and you Okay, are basically saying, uh, we hope we can win this week. We hope we can compete when the reality is half those schmucks weren't going to class, weren't academically eligible. They ran from the weight room like it had the Rona, all right? And this was before the Rona, by the way, many years before. And so they hoped they could compete. They hoped they could get a college scholarship. They hoped they could be successful. And I see this all the time in every area of life. People are like, oh, I hope I can lose some weight. I really want to do this. And insert want for the word hope. All right. In fact, let me define the word hope for, for all you geniuses out there. All right. Simply put, wanting something to happen. Okay. I hope I wish, I hope I, I lose some weight. I hope I make more money. I really want the guys to finish on time. I really hope the phone's gonna ring in my business. I really hope I can find some new employees. Hope, 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 hope. Hope, 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 hope. <sighs> it is not a strategy to win in anything. Here's some ways just to help you identify if you are stuck in the I hope strategy of growing your business. Here's a few ways that I've seen hope show up, okay? First way is lack of clarity. You don't know where you're going. You say, I want to make more money. That's no different than saying, I hope I make some money. Well, how much more money do you want to make? Okay, don't give me this crap. If I could just make some more money, that is not clarity. That's a strategy of hope. Hope, 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 hope. Instead, clarity looks like I am working towards paying myself $75,000 a month within the next 10 years. That will be my personal income. That is not hope. That's an actual clear or strategy, a choice that I'm gonna get into in a minute. Hope also shows up in lack of clarity of your actions, okay? Because you're not clear on exactly what you want, you don't know what exactly you should fucking be doing every day. And so you meander through life, and it reminds me like you see a plastic shopping bag from the grocery store floating around in the wind as it's blowing down the street. It's just popping wherever the wind takes it. That's what you're like if you don't have clarity of action. If you don't know what you're going to do today to move you closer to the shit that you say that you want. Back to the football player analogy. The kids would go, I want to get a scholarship. Okay, well, what do you think you should do today? Maybe let's start with being on time to school, and then let's get to every class on time, and then let's turn our fucking paperwork in or our homework in, or let's sit in the front, not be a douchebag, raise your hand once a day, add something of value to the conversation, and don't be a problem. Let's just start with that. Okay, so whatever the equivalent is for you and your business on those actions, you need to know what those are. Hope shows up in a lack of consistency. That's the third way I see it show up. You know, because I would see that again. Let's go third party storytelling here. So I'm not picking on all you guys, but if we just use the football player analogy, I went to the weight room three days in a row. I was in class, I, I was at three classes in a row today. I turned my homework in for two weeks. So what? It's not consistency. Consistency is every mofo day. Mofo. Final way that I see hope, the strategy of hope, show up for everybody. 
regardless of what you're trying to pursue, pursue is lack of results. <laughs> Think about it, all right? If you're in business now uh, for a few years, a couple years, and you're still making about the same money that you're making, if your guys are still shitheads because you're a shitty leader, if you can't find people, keep people, recruit people, if your gross profit is what it is, if your debt is growing or stayed the same, these are all lack of results. Uh, if, if you say, you know, the hope strategy of getting in shape, well, if you're still fat, it ain't working. You have the wrong strategy, all right? So today, I want to end with this. I want to talk about the strategy of choice versus the strategy of hope, okay? I choose to train the team. I choose to learn how to market and build my brand. I choose to grow as a communicator so I hit my sales goals so I can pay myself the $75,000 a month in personal income I want to pay myself within 10 years. These are choices, okay? I choose to build my skills as a leader so I can build a kick-ass culture that looks like this, 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 and this, okay? That's the difference between the strategy of, oh, I just hope things work out. I just want this, and so the universe is just going to give it to me. All right, versus I'm planting my damn flag. This is where I'm going. This is what I'm accomplishing. I'm choosing my destination. I'm choosing my actions. I'm going to be accountable to this. I'm choosing to be consistent and I am going to get the results. And if I don't get the exact results that I want, it's not going to be because I had a strategy of hope. It just might take a little longer than I planned on it taking or whatever. You're still trending in the right direction. Success. S-U-C-C-E-S-S, -S. success is a choice. You are exactly where you are because of your choices, okay? Hope doesn't mean shit, okay? Yeah, okay, let's be optimistic. Yeah, yeah I hope this works out, okay? I get that, okay? I'm a pretty optimistic person, all right? But I want you to do this. I want you to look at your bank account, open up the app, look at the bank account, look at your debt, look at your relationship, Okay, look, look in the mirror, look at your physique. They are all exactly what they are right now because of your choices. So if you wanna get better, you need to make better choices. Ditch the strategy of hope, embrace the strategy of choice, and I promise you, you will kick some serious ass in every area of your life, every area of your business. Don't forget to subscribe to the Contractor Fight TV here and join us in Denver. There should be a link somewhere here in the description or along the screen. I don't know, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it right there. All right. For Mile High Profit Summit, September 14th through 16th in Denver, Colorado. Okay, go to the link, check it out, choose to get your ass in the room and change your life. You guys rock, I gotta roll, I'm out.